as we're coming up to a year of the Russia-Ukraine war, I think it's really important to try to unpack a little bit some of the relationships that are going on between uh, countries like Russia and Belarus. Obviously, that's a relationship that has come to quite a lot of Western attention since the war started. But I think sometimes that relationship lacks a bit of nuance. But a lot of the time, that relationship tends to cast Belarus as highly dependent on Russia, which of course it is, um, for security, for uh, economics, um, and certainly politically as well. But what I think this paper is really trying to do is to turn that on its head a little bit and try to look at where Belarus actually um, is a source of weakness for Russia. So what we're looking at really is Belarus's military role and security role as a provider of really important logistical and practical support for the Russian armed forces, without which the Russian army might have some challenges, especially during wartime at the moment, but also during peacetime. So what this is trying to do is look at some of the ideological and the practical, but also political points of contention um, in Belarus and Russia's security relationship. And it's trying to really challenge a bit of prevailing wisdom that casts Belarus as the only dependent party here. So I think for me, whilst I was writing this, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, prevailing wisdom out there that talks about how aligned Russia and Belarus are since the Ukraine war. And while there are certainly points at which Lukashenko and Putin agree, I think they still have very fundamentally divergent threat perceptions. And while they might be temporarily consolidated around the Ukraine war, given the Western sanctions as well, which you know are trying to remove Belarus from the supply chain, and this very much obliges Russia to uh, prop up the Belarusian economy, I'm not sure that the Belarusian and Russian uh, political relationship is so straightforward. Um, and actually, there are quite a lot of divergences between them and political frictions. And those are things that I think NATO allies really need to be looking at.